Hey guys, what's up, this is Stephanie, and welcome back to my channel. So, in the video today, I'm going to be discussing podcasts that I recommend. Podcasts, I have to say, were my savior for my didactic year and my clinical year PA school, and even for my pants. I definitely have to credit them for being able to pass my classes in didactic year, being able to pass my end of rotation exams during my clinical year, and then definitely passing my pants during after I graduated, right? So I really, really recommend podcasts, especially if you're a person that learns like from hearing, right? You're a person that can learn from listening to lectures, um, etc. So I really, really recommend podcasts because they're free, right? And you learn a lot from them. And the thing about podcasts is that you can really listen to them on the go. So you can listen to them on your walk to school. You can listen to them while you're cooking. When you're exercising, if you're bathing even also. Um, I know I've gotten some emails from some of the subscribers that watch my end of rotation exam videos. And one of them says that they walk about five miles every day. And what he does is that he just plays that YouTube video and he's playing it on his way and on his way back. So he said that he credits that to doing really well on his EOR exams. So if you're an individual that learns from listening, I really recommend podcasts or even YouTube videos. The thing I like about podcasts is that you're able to turn your phone off, right? And it keeps playing with YouTube videos. I have to say I have not done that yet. I haven't been able to turn it off while it's still playing, but maybe you might teach me. But this video in particular is going to be just in regards to what podcasts I recommend for what years and then what rotations. So for didactic year, I really recommend Brian Wallace podcast, which I'm going to add the link below. So Brian Wallace, he's a physician assistant. He helped me a lot during my didactic year because during didactic year, you're kind of learning the basics, right? You're learning, for example, what diseases are common in the abdominal area, what diseases are common in the respiratory system. And that's what he does. He splits up the systems and he'll discuss diseases that are on the pants and that's what I really, really like about his podcast. So it's Brian Wallace's um, exam review podcast, but I will add a link below and it's free. And he has so many podcasts that you can listen to. And what I would do is my drive from my house to my university was, it was like about a 20 minute drive. And then of course, if you are attending a huge university, you have to park. And by the time you walk to the where the class is located, that's maybe like another maybe five or 10 minute walk, right? Especially if it's really busy. So, and you can't find parking, right? So it's even a longer walk. So that's what I would do. So I would listen to the podcast from when I left the house to when I got to the classroom. So that I would listen to about 30 minutes in the morning and then I would listen to that on the way back. So that's an hour. So you imagine you do that five days a week it's five hours and then on top of that if you're listening to it when you're cooking if you are running or if you're exercising really really great way to learn so i really recommend brian wallace's podcast during the first year of pa school your didactic year they really really help me out so for your clinical year the podcast that i listened during clinical year was definitely the curbsiders internal medicine podcast I know it says internal medicine, but they cover a lot of subjects. They cover a lot of family medicine subjects also. So I use that definitely during my family medicine rotation and I use it during my internal medicine rotation because what they do is that they interview doctors that are specialized in that, for example, disease or just in that specialty. And they'll have a conversation with the doctor in regards to what's the best diagnostic, how to diagnose these patients, right? What physical exam findings is this patient going to present and how to treat them. And so I really, really recommend these podcasts because they, this one specifically, because they go over a huge array of diseases and the majority, if not all of them are going to be on the pants. And that's what I use during my family rotation, my internal medicine rotation. And then I also use it to study for the pants. So I really recommend that one. I love it, I love it. I actually still listen to it now just to keep up to date with what's going on. And that's another thing that they really like, that I really like that they do, is that they go over journal articles that are just published, or for example, any new changes in regards to the USPSTF 
task force, which is something I could really like to test also. And some of these things I would like to discuss with the doctors during my rotation. So I would tell them, hey, did you hear about this article that just got published? And they are actually saying that this drug is better than this drug. What are your thoughts? And the doctors would get very impressed. So I really recommend the curbsiders internal medicine. I love it. For a pediatrics rotation, they have this one called the curbsiders. So it's it's similar to the curbsiders and it's like it has the same producers and the same hosts and the same doctors, but this one's for pediatrics. It's called the crib ciders, so like a crib, like a baby's crib. This one's really good. I'm going to add the link below also. Once again, it's very similar to the internal medicine that I was discussing with curb ciders, but this one's only pediatrics. So you're going to have a lot of pediatricians. I heard a podcast the other day that they were talking about diabetes type 1. So I really recommend this podcast. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, in regards to your internal medicine rotation, if you are rotating in a hospital or critical care, I recommend the critical care, uh, the book of critical care medicine podcast. I'm going to add the link below. Also, that's a fantastic also podcast. You have two doctors. You have one from Canada, one from the U.S., and they just discuss certain diseases and they go through each one. So, for example, I was listening to one on shock the other day. And so they'll discuss how to diagnose shock, what you expect to see in the labs, what are you, what are you gonna do, what are your ABCs, right? And then what's the treatment for these patients, you know? So, and then the different types of shocks that exist. So that's another really good podcast that I recommend for your internal medicine rotation, especially if you're gonna do something like in critical care medicine. Definitely that's one of the, the podcasts that I listen a lot during my capsule rotation because I rotated it in the burn unit. So this is one of the podcasts that I listen to a lot since we saw a lot of shock, um, rhabdomyolysis, etc. So really recommend that podcast for your critical care medicine rotation. So we have those, I went into that one. And yeah, those are the podcasts that I really like. So like I said, during didactic year, I really recommend the Brian Wallace podcast. Uh, during your clinical year, family medicine rotation, right? And internal medicine rotation, I really recommend the Curbsiders Internal Medicine Podcast. It's an amazing podcast. I think they have almost like 200 and almost 300 episodes. So I know it took me about a year to like binge listen to all of them, but they're all amazing. They're about an hour long, but they just have so much information and it's really good like pearls that you can use not only in clinic, but also for your exam. And like I said, Repetition is the key. So if you're reading it and you're seeing it and then you listen to it, that's like a three whammies, right? You're repeating it over and over again. So I really recommend them. And then the crib cider is for your pediatrics rotation, which is really, really good. If you're doing an internal medicine rotation in critical care medicine or just an elective in critical care medicine, I really recommend uh, the book of critical care medicine, which I will link below. It's a fantastic podcast. And yeah, so I will definitely be adding other podcasts below. I hope this video was helpful, especially for those of you that like to listen to podcasts. Sometimes I just get tired of reading. So I listen to podcasts and it's another way to learn. Just relax, right? So, and especially if you're on the go a lot, if you're having to make that far drive, really recommend that podcast. I have one of my classmates that she, what she did every day when she was sitting for the pants is that she walked her dog every morning. So she always made sure that she listened to either Brian Wallace or to the internal medicine um, curbsiders podcast so she could study for the pants and it really helped her out. All right guys, as always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below. If you have any also suggestions for future videos, also comment below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.